one bit. He was there to answer every call, the spinning back fist at the end of the third round there. Keeping Andrea on his toes. Big right hand there to follow up from the Russian. Bites down on the Maya piece. They both went to war at the end of this third round. Up next is bantamweight mixed martial arts action. Carlo Bumina on takes on Dennis Andrea. Both men 29 years old, but Andrea four inches taller. This one is Philippines versus Russia. Global rules, mixed martial arts, that's three five-minute rounds. The bout judged as a whole, not round by round. Knees to the head of grounded opponents are legal, but no spiking or throws on the head, neck, or spine. From the blue corner, Dennis Andreev! Dennis Andreev from the Siberia region in Russia, representing Saka. He started out in mixed martial arts, started as a regular student at Team Lakat, but was then able to make the Philippine national team, fought kickboxing in the SEA Games. Now, looking to follow in the footsteps of his training partner, Steven Laman. Mark Chano Sangiao. Can he make it 2 0 here in one Friday fight? Coming up is three five minute rounds of Bantamweight MMA. Presented to you by Monster Energy, Unleash the Beast. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, training out of Sarkar Wrestling MMA. Representing Russia, Dennis Andreev. And introducing her opponent, out of the red corner, training out of Team Lakai. Representing the Philippines. Carlo Bumina Ang! You have understand the rules. Let's keep this clean, keep it active. Obey my instructions at all times. Touch glove if you want, then back to your corners. Back up, please. Judge! 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 Time! Ready? Ready? Let's go! Referee Mohamed Sulaiman in charge of this one. Andre up in the blue, Umina Ang in the red, and a big shout out to all our Filipino fans watching. Really one of the most passionate fans out there, Achilles. Oh, uh, yes, they are. The support that they give their countrymen really is amazing. I can feel the tension in this match, Johnny. Both high level strikers really anticipate a KO finish in this match. Andre working off. Light footwork here, heavy on that lead leg. He's trying to set up the big right kick. Found it to start. Oh, nice. Good momentum though here from Wiener Angles, right to the takedown. Oh, a bit of grabbing on the ropes there from Andreev. Otherwise, Carlo would have taken him down earlier than that. But it was the big knee strike from Andreev to the body of Bumina and that forced him to close the distance there, Johnny, and initiate the grappling. In his debut, Bumina and was able to blitz Reza Saidi for a first-round knockout. He told us in the interviews that for this one, he wants to show more of his grappling. 
does not want to be known as just a striker, wants to show the overall game. Training on the marks, Sangiel, the team there, training partners like John Lowe, Stephen Lomar, you know, he's being put to test each and every day. And that being said, John and Ralph was, was telling us that he's been working a lot on his grappling. Especially his takedown defense and fighting off his back since he's so confident in his striking. Doesn't mind fighting off his back. Most of the time, that's where he's going to end up if he's throwing kicks and if he's really going for the knockout and the striking. As we saw before, left him susceptible for the takedown. That's how they ended up in this position with a beautiful double leg timed from Bumina Ang. Bumina Ang doing well here. Head pressure right to the chin of Andrea, making it hard for him to create space. Create any angles. We're going to land some short shots, soften up Andreev. Andreev is going to have to open his guard here if he wants to transition and get a better position than this. It's really hard to be fighting off the back here, especially against a tough, heavy fighter like Bumina Ang. You can tell. He's been working on his ground game and his ground and pound a lot. Especially just like you said, he was training out in the esteemed Fairtex gym in Pantilla, Thailand. You know, and they have a good grappling program there as well, Johnny. Good, strong pressure again. Look at the legs of Rubina Ang. That's a beautiful left elbow, but Ang here. Trying to kick off, and now Rubina Ang on his back. And it was the distance created there for Adref opening up his guard. Unable to get up in time. Bumina Ang is all over him here. Smothering him, trying to take the back. Nice wrist control there by Bumina Ang to stop the base attempt of Andreev. Trying to get that arm right underneath that neck of the Russian athlete, Andreev. This is a very common position in MMA that we see in here, Johnny. It's like almost the inviting the half guard so that he can, can, can get more control of the top of the body and he manages to, to pull the arm out slightly around the back of Andreev and Andreev doing a, a good job so far of keeping his right arm safe because if Bumina brings his arm behind Andreev's body he's gonna be in a lot of trouble good pressure again from Bumina Ang from the Philippines Wanted to showcase more grappling after a highlight real knockout in his debut here. One Friday fights. Sticking to the plan so far. Controlling Andreev, who has over 250 amateur kickboxing bouts. Yeah, when you look at the veins popping out of the legs of Andreev, you can tell that he's a kickboxer trying to put a, put a, a really good choke attempt here. For, for, for Mina and it's kind of hard to see the angle here because they're on the side here with the ropes. And a good transition, still on top control from Bumina Ang. Relentless pressure coming. Bumina Ang has a nice left hand right to the chin of Andreev. So far, pinning down Andreev. They're doing, doing an okay job there, not taking too much damage on the bottom, considering that needs to have rounded opponent on legal. Good job there, keeping the defense tight, just to avoid any big shots from the top. But a great... He got that takedown, it was ground and pound, it was control. Look at him, controlling that wrist, stopping the pop-up attempt. From a $100,000 stepping stone to a treasure trove of martial arts, the most iconic stage, one championship. Let's see who wants it most. Let's go! Just like we've seen so many times in that past, Johnny, after these heavy grappling exchanges, it's going to be interesting to see how much juice Andreas has left in his striking. Oh, there you have the big knee again there. Same one he landed in the first time, and the retaliation for Bumina and with a knee of his own. Mina Ang is aggressive for Achilles. Andreev not used to this pace and this pressure coming from Mina Ang, but it's another right knee to the body landing clean for Andreev. He's to find a way to stop this pressure coming from Mina Ang. But the way he closes the distance is just so impressive. 
and really went for a scrap there, did uh, Bumina Ang there. And it looked like the right move because Andreev is, is very traditional with his striking. He's, he's very accurate. His technique is perfect. Very traditional. Again with the right knee. Good poker face so far from Bumina Ang there, Johnny. Nice straight line shots. That will start the takedown defense on takedown attacks from Bumina Ang, excuse me. But struggling to find some long shots here. Again, looking for the right knee, Andrea. Does he get the low kicks, the jabs working? But again, difficult to do. Bumina Ang, very talented on the feet as well. And this is the thing with the high level strikers. Even though Andreas, Andreas has, has thrown the right knee so many times, you can't help but think that he's setting up something else, Johnny. <laughs> and a nice knee retaliation from Bumina Ang of his own there. Keeping Andreev humble. That's a nice low kick there from Andreev. He's more of that Bumina Ang. Also applying every time. There's a nice single leg attempt as he drives Andreev to the ropes. Good overhook sprawl from Andreev. Redirection, nice takedown defense coming from Andreev. Definitely gaining more confidence in that takedown defense department is Andreev. This is gonna, this is really gonna help him open up his striking. Making Bomina and second guess whether his takedowns will be successful or not. Because they do tend to generate a lot of energy. Use these, these, these takedowns do. Nice left hand landing for Andrea as Bumina Ang was going forward. Bumina Ang used to sell bananas as a street vendor. Now 1 0 as a pro, trying to make his way into one championship. Andrea started training as a young kid as a means to defend himself, becoming the national and European kickboxing champion. That was a nice right hand to the body from Andrea. This is really high-level striking, Johnny. We're really being treated here. This is the kind of high-level striking that we've seen in the Muay Thai matches here in Lumpini. Beautiful pull there to the right counter from Andreev. Trying to find his rhythm a little bit, trying to make his reads. Working off a counter shot, moving back, and landing. Bumina Ang again with the pressure, staying in the face of Andreev. And left hand landing now for Andreev. In with the right knee. Oh, and a nice combination there. Finding Bumina Ang with his hands low. The chin of Bumina Ang holding up so far, eating all of the shots coming from Andreev. Oh, big combination. Ending with a big left hook there. Andreev starting to find his rhythm here, Johnny, in the second round. Rhythm and confidence now on display. For Andreev. Oh, nice counter from Bumina Ang, a left straight of his own. But it is Andreev now with the offense over his Filipino opponent. Beautiful left hook there, landed clean as well. Bumina Ang with the left straight. This is the kind of adversity that Bumina Ang is known for pushing through. Not just in life. We were talking about earlier having to sell bananas with a street Johnny. That's the kind of motivation that keeps these fighters on their feet, even after taking heavy, heavy shots from Andrea. You can't help but wonder how Bumina Ang is still standing there. And he's still very much in this matchup, Johnny. You cannot count him out. He's still throwing combos. He's still looking for that KO finish. Lateral movement looking nice for Andrea, moving away from the majority of the shots coming from Bumina Ang. Oh, attempt here. And Andrea stops it and lets a right knee fly. Beautiful combination there. Ball to the knee on the break of Andrea. And a very close second round there. Andrea. Trying to catch the timing of the takedowns of Bumina Ang. Ang that again with the follow up knees. Really keeping Bumina Ang on his toes here, forcing him to, a, to throw caution to the wind and stay in this match. His timing is starting to look really scary there, Johnny. Move back, move back. Too highly. 
talented young men. Let's go! One Friday Fights is the global platform in search of rising world championship talent. Umina Ang and Andrea battle it out. This is the final round. Head kick landing for Andrea, but Umina shakes his head. Inside the guard, trying to isolate that arm, throw up a triangle attempt. It's like we said earlier, he's going to need to open up his guard. He's going to escape this position. This is not the ideal position for him to be in at the start of this third round. Throwing up a triangle was a good idea, but you still got to be careful there. I mean, Ang doesn't use that to pass it, to get to a better position. Mistake, better in his position. <laughs> he makes it to his feet, but a nice outside trip there for Bumina. Great use Let's of the overhook again from Andrea to work back to his feet. That was a big takedown attempt there from Bumina. Big exchange early in this final round. That's straight landing for Bumina, but a one two on the reply for Andrea. What a battle this has been as Andrea looks for the right knee to the midsection once more. Back and forth. Again, ending in the grappling exchange. Andrea looking a bit, a bit flustered in this third round. Found his timing well in the second round. And he's just got to shut off this for Bamina Ang. He's got to have a dress thinking, what has he got to do to get a finish here? It's been such a close bout. Andreev now starting to land with the left hand. The takedown to 10 now stuffed from Andreev. Bamina Ang. A little bit of trouble here. Andreev pushing forward. Ah, nice left straight there from Bumina Ah. Andrea still looking to attack the body with the right hooks and the right knee up the middle. Bumina Ah looking for the hooks up top and the left straight. This one has been razor close, but you need to show dominance. You want to earn that $100,000 contract. Nice combination there from Andrea. <laughs> Bumina on now, calling him to stand and trade in the pocket. He's had enough of this, back and forth. He wants to finish this fight, whether he gets knocked out or not. And the crowd inside the Mecca of Roy Town and Pini Boxing Stadium, loving this. Striking exchange now between Andrea and Bumina on. Oh, that's a nice right knee from Andrea. Catches Bumina out right on the ropes. Another one lands. Oh, Spinning back fist for Bumina and Andrea just ate that right up. One minute, let's go. He's back to his game plan. Just trying to pick Bumina Ang off all match long. Two talented strikers here. Romina Ang, the Sea Games Filipino representative. Andrea looking for a takedown of his own. Well stuff from Romina there. In the oh, last 20 seconds. Two lefts in a row from Andrea. Those are some big shots as he goes right back to the knee. And again, Andrea touched up. Last 10 seconds, last 10 seconds. He 
in these final 10 seconds. Big shot from the Russian. Big problems. Andrea, there you see the lovely left one bit. He was there to answer every call. The spinning back fist at the end of the third round there. Keeping Andrea on his toes. Big right hand there to follow up from the Russian. Bite down on the mile piece. They both went to war at the end of this third round. This match was presented to you by Monster Energy. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. Judge number one calls this contest in favor of Andreev. Judge number two calls this contest in favor of Bumina Ang. And judge number three calls this contest in favor of your winner by split decision, Carlo Bumina Ang. Carlo Bumina Ang. Picks up the split decision victory. It was a hard fought one going all three rounds. But some big takedowns in the first round. Some clean strikes as well. A massive takedown in the third as well.